Good morning. Um, I'm Eric Berica from UMass Medical School, and today I want to tell you about um, a little project that we've been involved in. Uh, one of the goals of Keystone Symposia has been to reach a, wide, a wider audience, a more global audience. And one of the approaches that they're taking to doing this is through uh, the virtual Keystone Symposia. Uh, nearly a year ago, um, my dis uh, esteemed colleagues and I sat down to have a discussion about uh, interesting topics in our field, including uh, some history, controversies, where the field is going, what we're excited about. And so what we're gonna do right now is show a, a, an edited version of that film. And, um, and it's about 20 minutes, a little bit less than 20 minutes. And then after that, we will start having a discussion. And what we would very much like for you to do is to ask us questions um, and state your opinions about where the field is, where it's going, and um, what you see as new directions for the future. What diseases do you think uh, industry is most interested in from a yeah. drug I mean, discovery it, perspective? I mean, here I think this is one of the big challenges, but it's also an opportunity. So, you know, I think when, when one thinks about bringing an autophagy modulator into the clinic to treat patients, you want to have a, a, a large therapeutic index. You want to maximize the, the, the benefit in the disease cells or tissues and hopefully leave the normal cells and tissues happy and, and content. And so I think when we think about targeting um, disease using an autophagy modulator, we like to try and go after indications where the disease is caused by a defect, a core defect in the pathway.